So I'm looking for a word. I need you to help me with this word, what this word is. So maybe like your family goes out to eat and you go to a restaurant and you sit down in the restaurant and the server comes and the server brings you food and drinks and you have a good time and then it's time to pay the bill and mom or dad gets the bill and they look at it and they pay not just what it costs for the food, but then they pay a little something extra to the, to the server who's bringing your food. What's, what is that? What's that called? When they pay extra, I heard it. It's a tip, right? It's paying a tip. Okay, so now this is for, uh, this is for the adults in the crowd. Um, because I, I just read this report, it's very fascinating, about the tipping behavior of Americans, okay, how we tend to tip. So uh, this is for the adults. Raise your hand if you tip after sitting down in an eat-in restaurant. Raise your hand if you tip after sitting, I think that 92% of Americans tip after sitting. Who doesn't do that? Come, if you didn't raise your hand, come and talk to me. Okay, how about getting a haircut? Raise your hand if you tip after getting a haircut. Uh, that's, about, that's about reflective. That's 78% of Americans tip after getting a haircut. How about when food is delivered to your door? Do you tip like DoorDash? Okay, fewer. I, I would say less than the average for Americans is 76%. I think we had about 40% here. Um, no judgment. This is all just... We're, and actually, the, it was really interesting. The article attached to the study said, as Americans, we're trying to figure out, like, w when do I tip? When, do I, when, I, when I go to the car wash and the guy who sprays my car down, do I give him a tip or not? Is he making $2.50 an hour or is he making 15 I, So we're, we're just all trying to figure this out. Getting an Uber ride. You tip the driver? Raise your hand if you tip the Uber driver. I'd say more of you tip the Uber driver than, than tip uh, door delivery. Okay, so that's interesting. How about this, buying a coffee at Starbucks? Do you tip the barista when you buy a coffee at Starbucks? Very few of you, that's reflective of Americans. 21% of Americans said they tip the barista at Starbucks. How about you tip the pastor after a good sermon? Raise your hand. Who, who, get, people, get them up there. Get them up there. I will keep talking. I will keep talking and I will keep talking. It's good. You're showing your children generosity. You know, it's, it's a good lesson. Um, they didn't have this one on there. Should God tip you? You know, for all the stuff you do for, you know, you do stuff for God. Like you're like, you're here today. You're like, God, I'm going to church this morning. I'm here. Should God tip you for that? Uh, and and there's, there's a lot of good stuff that you do. For God, I mean, I, I mean, right? Doesn't doesn't he get hungry sometimes, and you have to serve him food, or he'll starve to death? And he gets thirsty, and you got to bring him some drinks, right? You got you got to take care of God. He's he's he can't make it out for the day, and so you have to be a delivery driver, and you have to go find God and bring him some stuff because he's too lazy to go out and get it himself. Is that? It doesn't happen, does it? God shouldn't tip us. I mean, we should tip him. But let me tell you this, Christmas, it's kind of like God tipping you, even though you didn't bring him food and drink and uh, take him for a ride in an Uber. I, I, I hesitate to say he tips you because it's way more than a tip, way, 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 way more, way more than a tip. I mean, God gives you the ultimate service ever. He serves you by coming to this earth and saving you. So he didn't, he didn't give you a tip. God gives you a gift. And the gift is his own son, Jesus Christ. It says this in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. This is the theme for today's service. And the kids are going to sing and, and speak about this in about three and a half minutes. Okay? Here's the verse from Isaiah 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is born is given. I'm going to say one thing, and I want you to remember this. There's going to be a lot of cute, cuteness up here in a few minutes, okay? You're going to remember that, but remember this too. Listen, the gift is the giver. The gift is the giver. That's what Christmas is. <laughs>